Today's morning devotional. Through nature to nature's God. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. If our hearts were softened and subdued with the love of God they would be open to discern his mercy and loving kindness, as expressed to us in every shrub and in the profusion of blooming flowers which meet our eye in God's world. The delicate leaf, the spires of grass, every lofty tree, is an expression of the love of God to his children. They tell us that God is a lover of the beautiful. He speaks to us from nature's book, that he delights in the perfection of beauty of character. He would have us look up through nature to nature's God, and would have our hearts drawn out in love and affection to him as we view his created works. God designs that the scenes of nature should influence the children of God to delight in the pure, simple, quiet beauty with which our Father adorns our earthly home. Jesus tells us that the mightiest king that ever swayed a scepter could not compare in gorgeous array to the simple flowers that God has clothed with loveliness. We must be preparing for the white robe of character, in order that we may pass within the pearly gates of the city of God to a heaven of bliss. Revelation presents the seen fountains of living waters, rivers that are as clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and the Lamb trees of living green growing on either side of this river of life. We have in the glorious things of nature a mere shadow of the original which we shall see in their full loveliness in the paradise of God. Let us learn the precious lesson which God designed we should. He who careth for the simple flowers in their season, will he not much more care for you whom he has created in his own image? Look upon these things of beauty. God prepares and clothes them with a robe of loveliness, and yet they perish in a day. All these earthly, temporal beauties are to be appreciated as the voice of God speaking to us of the treasures and glories of the unseen and the eternal.